what really happened to Ukrainian flagship Hetman Sahadachny. Did Ukraine sink its own flagship, the Hetman Sahadachny? Here's what you need to know. Just a month ago, this 3,500-ton Krivik III-class frigate, known as the Hetman Sahadachny, which was the pride of the Ukrainian Navy, was undergoing maintenance. Now she's resting at the bottom of Mykolaiv Harbor. Images of the ship sitting half-submerged on its side began appearing on social media on March 3rd. Initial reports, many of which were rumors circulated by Russian sources, claimed this Ukrainian flagship was successfully targeted by enemy artillery. Actually, the frigate was intentionally sunk by the Ukrainian Navy to keep it from falling into the hands of the enemy. The ship's commander gave the order to open seawater intake valves, resulting in the ship's flooding and sinking where it now rests on the bottom of the harbor. The decision was genius for three reasons. One, the ship simply cannot fall into Russian hands. Two, the decision to sink the ship in this location prevents the enemy from utilizing this critical dock in the event Mykolaiv Harbor is overtaken by Russian soldiers. And three, the decision to scuttle the ship here in the harbor where it rests in 40 feet of water will make it easy to pump out and refloat the ship once Russia is defeated. Now it all falls within perfect military logic, but it is incredibly hard to imagine a more difficult decision for this ship's courageous crew. The practice of sinking your own ship to thwart the enemy isn't without precedent, most notably in June 1919. During negotiations in the final days of World War I, the German Navy sunk 52 of its own warships in one day to prevent them from falling into the hands of the British Royal Navy. You see, Admiral Ludwig von Reuter refused to let his ships become the spoils of war. Okay, the Hetman Sahadachny is equipped with a 100 millimeter deck gun, multiple machine guns, anti-submarine grenade launchers, torpedo tubes, and a helicopter. But what can one Ukrainian frigate do against the superior Russian Navy? Let's face it, not much. But here's the thing. You see, Ukrainians feared if the Hetman Sahadachny had fallen into Russian hands, it would be a major propaganda win for Moscow and act as a morale boost for the invading troops. Most importantly, however, it would serve as a demoralizer for the Ukrainian citizens. The scuttling of the Hetman Sahadachny will definitely go down in history among the initial acts of bravery displayed by the Ukrainian military against the Russian invaders. My name is Ken Stano. Thank you for checking out History X.